Hello everyone, this is Mark with MarksHelpfulTutorials.webs.com bringing you a special video today on the webs.com site builder. What's been happening with the webs.com site builder is that when you try to upload a photo to paste it into your content box, it will not go there. It'll go to the top left hand corner of your screen. So let's go ahead and give you a quick shot of that. If you go to photo, as if you're going to upload a photo, you go to my computer, you would normally go to browse and choose your image. So let's choose this uh, Mac computer here as if we're going to try to sell it. Well, what happens is, is it goes to the top left hand corner of your screen. You don't want it there. You want it inside your content box. So for those of you out there who are getting upset, I will try to help you the best I can. And if you follow this video step by step, you'll be able to post any kind of image on your website by the end of this video. So what we want to do is now that you got your video or photo uploaded, which it has been uploaded, so don't be discouraged by the fact that it's up here on the top left. It is uploaded. But we don't want to use that particular photo. We do want to use the photo, but we want to do something else with that. So we'll go ahead and refresh the site by clicking edit website. What you want to do first, a lot of website builders like me like to actually post images but they want to make sure that they're in a spot where you can remember such as a folder so we're going to create a folder in the files manager by clicking manage files and when you get to manage files you want to go to an area called file manager and when you actually get to the file manager what you want to do is you want to create a new folder for your photos that we're going to upload to so this right here is going to start loading your files that you have uploaded to your website or content. And once that loads, it may take a while because folks there are still working on the server. But here we go. We just uploaded that uh, computer, so let's take it off. We're going to delete it. So click on it, delete, selected, click OK. And once you deleted it, you're going to create a new folder, which is going to be called Photos. So let's click on New Folder. Now, if for some reason you accidentally click out of this and you know you don't actually name the folder, you can click on the letter T right here that says rename, and you can rename your folder real simple, and it'll come up back up with this open box where you can rename the folder. So let's type in photos and click on save. And once it saves the actual photo folder we're going to go ahead and go back to edit website and we're going to do the same thing over again except a little differently we're going to go ahead and try to upload an image once again of the computer that we want to sell and again I'm just this is just an example I'm not selling anything you go to photo or insert photo and once it comes up you want to go ahead and try to upload the actual folder or the photo but we're going to upload it to the photos folder you see there's already a folder here called photos so we're going to go to my computer we're going to click right here it says upload to this is very important folks this is upload to we're going to click on this and go to photos because you're wanting to upload photos and that's all you want to do you can do that if you have videos any other type of files you want to upload such as software anything you want to upload you can create a folder specifically for what you're going to do and that'll keep everything nice and neat. So let's go ahead and upload it. Go to Browse. Uh, let's take this computer, for example, here. Let's do this computer. It's called computers.jpg. you got to remember the file, whether it's a JPG or PNG or GIF. So double-click, upload it. And what's going to happen is the same thing's going to happen, guys. So don't get discouraged here. The same thing's going to happen is going to be on the top left instead of inside your content box. So as you go to my website you'll see this source code what people call HTML code and what you want to do is you want to copy the entire code it's going to be on the website in the front of the website so continue to go there and keep copying it if you have to email it to yourself whatever the case is to make it easier so copy that entire source code line or HTML code line copy it now remember once this goes up here this photo that means your photo has been uploaded so don't think it's not in the server it is there and ready to be posted so what you want to do after you copy this 
image source code or HTML code is you want to go up on the top left hand corner as you're still inside the edit website click on HTML or insert HTML right here click on that now you gotta remember the name of your photo which was computers.jpg so we're gonna paste the code into the area right here it doesn't matter how it get, gets in there but you know if you want to make it nice and neat just make sure it looks like this and here is your website name so depending on your website name you want to change it so my name my website name is marks helpful tutorials dot webs dot com which is already there now the folder is the important thing guys remember we created that folder so you want to erase folder and put photos because you did a photo and you want to upload a photo, photo, excuse me, and the name of your photo right here is going to be called computers. So you want to erase where it says name of any image file dot gif or whatever the case is. So you want to rename that. So let's go ahead and highlight that and get that out of there. So we're going to rename that to computers dot jpg. And remember, you got to keep these little quotes in here and all the rest of the information. If you don't, it's not going to work. I want to make a note here real quick. The width and the height can be something totally different on your website, depending on your website that you choose on webs.com. If you want the particular site that I'm on, you're going to use 670 by 482 because that's the actual size of the content box. But you got to figure that out if you have your own website and a different web template. So click on insert HTML when you're finished. Now you see a HTML box code and that's basically what it is. It's just an HTML box code. Well, make sure you're highlighting that area. Don't delete it. Just make sure you're highlighting it. And click on photo once again. And remember, we've uploaded our file to the Photos folder. So double click on the folder that says Photos. And there's your image right there. So all you got to do is make sure you're highlighting the actual box that you see, the HTML box code. Double click the photo. And once you double click that photo, folks, you're going to have your actual image that you want posted right here on your content box. So guys, I hope that this has helped you. So let's go ahead and click on publish and publish the web page or save it and click continue. And once you click continue, even though it's uh, refreshing, you know, like my computer is pretty slow, you want to go ahead, let's go ahead and open up a new tab. Once you click on continue editing, basically it's pretty much done. I'm going to click on my home folder here and it tells you that marks tutor, marks helpful tutorials webs com. So let's go ahead and just type it in here. After we open a new tab, go to marks. There it is, marks helpful tutorials webs com. And there you have it, folks. There is the image right there that you had just uploaded to your new folder called photos, and you paste posted it right on your content box. So I hope this again has helped everyone out there who are who are having issues with webs.com website builder. I'm going to go ahead and post the actual source code on the site which you see right here. This is going to actually be the site. I'm going to do a little bit of changes on the site. So once again guys, continue to come and check out the tutorials. I have a lot of tutorials. They may be little long ones, but they're short. So basically this one is pretty short. You just have to remember the steps on what we just did here at markshelpfultutorials.webs.com. Again, guys, I want to thank you all for watching. Head over to my YouTube channel. There will be an actual link here to the YouTube channel. Support that, and I thank you all for watching, and have a great day.